lovers and welcome back to my channel so this is elegant and on this channel we talk about everything love sex and relationships so please if this sounds like what you are interested in please do me a favor by clicking on the subscribe button and then subscribe to my channel thank you so much and please remember to give this video a thumbs up thank you and i love you so much so today we are talking about the j-spot i'm going to be putting you through everything you need to know about the j-spot including what the g-spot is how to find the g-spot how to stimulate the g-spot and then the love making positions to you know to try to help stimulate the g-spot okay so let's get into everything you need to know about the g-spot all right so now what is the g-spot the g-spot is one of the hotly debated areas when it comes to women's sexual health it is the urethral sponge that is heating up against the kitty wall okay it's similar to an erected joystick and it gets bigger when it is aroused so you can find the g-spot better when you are turned on okay some people believe that the g-spot doesn't exist simply because it's not every woman that has one and plus the fact that you need a lot of patience okay for you to be able to get the j-spot and stimulate it some people just rush over things and you know end up not doing what they're supposed to do okay so you need to take your time when it comes to you know foreplay right so take your time and stimulate and touch you know for the j-spot to you know to show up because if you don't do those things it won't show up okay like i said you can only see or find the j-spot when the woman is really turned so now knowing what the g-spot is your next question might be can simulating the g-spot makes or helps someone to squirt the answer is yes okay so if you're interested in squirting you can tap into you know stimulating your g-spot and then you will squirt okay squirting is also known as a female ejaculation okay so if you're interested in squirting the g-spot is the right place to stimulate and then your squirt. So female ejaculation comes from the buildup of fluid in the urethral sponge. So if enough fluid is built up followed by intense pressure on the clit and the G-spot, it can actually lead to ejaculation. Okay, so it won't always happen. Okay, it depends on how hydrated you are, but if squatting really excites you, it's definitely worth a try, okay? So now that you know what the G-spot is and the pleasure that the G-spot gives, how do you find the G-spot? Okay, I'm going to guide you through on how to find the G-spot, okay? So now, how do you find the G-spot? The number one way to find the G-spot is by experimentation, okay? You need a healthy mindset and patience to find the G-spot. Like I said, when it comes to the woman's body, you need to be patient, okay? When it comes to stimulating and giving pleasure to a woman, you need to be patient, okay? Take your time and do it, okay? So, because... And most importantly, the woman needs to get turned on, yes, because the more she gets turned on, the more the G-spot swells and then you get to stimulate it easily. So full arousal differs in women. Some women might take 5 to 10 minutes, some might take 25 minutes, okay? So it depends on the woman. So when, once you are fully aroused and duplicated, follow these steps that I'm about to give to you, okay? So now we have gotten to the practical aspects of this video okay so you need to make sure that your hands are clean because you are going to be using your hands to stimulate the g-spot so make sure to wash your hands trim your nails and you know make sure that they are not too long to avoid injuring the you know the kitty actually so the first step here is to insert a finger okay insert your finger into the kitty all right so after inserting your finger the second step here is run your fingers along the top wall of the kitty okay and then find the area that feels different from the entire tissue or the area that feels more pleasurable when touched okay i'll be using a come here motion to you know to run your fingers inside so find the area that feels promising and then stimulate it with a come here motion like this 
for some women the the g spot is halfway between the kitty and the suffix okay so so many women are scared of urinating during the g spot stimulation because the g spot stimulation is similar to the feeling that you feel when you want to urinate so they get scared and you know scared of wetting the bed sheet so to avoid this fear during the moment be sure to urinate beforehand okay so once the gist force is stimulated to a point of swelling the peeing sensation usually subsides you know giving way to maximum pleasure okay for some women, the g spot stimulation triggers the release of fluid from the skin gland in the urethra, okay, usually an orgasm. So another method of finding the g spot is this. You can follow the old-fashioned way during lovemaking, okay, and that leads us to the last section of this video, okay, I'm, I'm going to be giving you the top positions two top positions that are going to enable you to find and stimulate the g spot so there are certain sex positions that can help you to stimulate the g spot so i'm going to be giving you two top positions that are going to help you to stimulate the g spot so the number one here is the cow girl okay cow girl allows for easy stimulation of the g spot so allow your partner to climb up and ride on you okay this will enable the you know the joystick to stimulate the g spot the right way okay <laughs> so the second position that can help you to stimulate the g spot is doggy okay doggy style is another cell another position that can actually help you to stimulate the g spot okay so give a try on those two positions if you really want to stimulate the g spot and you know give maximum pleasure to your to your woman okay so guys i hope this video was helpful like i said please do me a favor by clicking on the subscribe button and then subscribing to my channel Thank you so much and please remember to like this video and share it. I love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.